Hey, good morning, happy people. I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and today is a very special day. But I gotta give you the background. Anytime me and Sarah and my girls wanna go out and just relax, we always go to breakfast somewhere. Now, we go everywhere, but one of our favorite places to go here in Jupiter is IHOP. My girls love the pancakes, Sarah always gets something, I get the steak and eggs. But the main reason we come here are the waitresses. They're always super, super friendly to us. They're very nice. But there's one waitress in particular named Donna. She always tells us about fishing, and she was telling me about a fishing trip last week with her and her son. They fished all day long off the Jensen Causeway, and she caught nothing. So I thought to myself, I wanna take her fishing. So I talked to her boss, got the okay. Now we're here today, we're gonna eat breakfast, and I'm gonna talk about all we're gonna do and at the very end, I'm gonna tell her, get your stuff, you're going fishing with us. So let's go in, totally incognito, eat breakfast, and then steal Donna. So I've eaten at this restaurant, I don't know, a, a hundred times. He's been, these two guys opened the store. How long have you been here? 23 years. <laughs> Every single person working here right now have, been, have worked here over 20 years. That is nuts! Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Oh, thank you, Robert. Give yeah. me some love. That's gonna get me lots of bait. Read your... Maybe a new poll. No, read, read what that says. Go get your stuff. You're coming with us. He set all this what? up. Going You're going fishing with us today. You're, that's why we're here. You're, I live in Port St. Lucie. No, we've already got all the gear for you. You're coming right now with us. You're going I don't fishing. have any clothes. We have clothes for you already. You're ready. Go get your no shoes. Way. You're going fishing with no you. way! No way! Will do. Thank you. It's time to fish, y'all. Woo woo! Well, I'm so appreciative. I'm well, so grateful. We haven't done anything yet. You got me out of that inspection. Hey, that's how my fishing story's gonna start. <laughs> You're never gonna believe this. Well, we are getting this thing underway. Last night I called and ordered a dozen and a half goggle eyes. Goggle eyes to me are like the magic bait that if all else fails, I know I can go use one of them to catch something big. So it's worth the investment. So that's the best money I spend all day. We've got bait, we're heading out. What do you think? I'm excited, I can't wait to go catch them, knock them dead. <laughs> mm. Sitting here, we could catch anything. We could catch kingfish, sailfish, my mahi. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, Donna. This is gonna be your bottom rod. We're gonna take one of these little turbos that I should have a net to catch, but I don't. Like that right there. We're gonna hook him through the, new, through the nose, just like that. And then I'm gonna take my pliers here and just slow him down a little bit. Just like that. See how I just, I, I clipped his tail? That's not gonna stop him from swimming and it's not gonna kill him. Go ahead, drop that down to the bottom. When he gets hit, you're not going to set the hook. When it's gonna be a, you'll feel him down there. Kicking around and kicking around and kicking around. When he gets hit, it's gonna be a thump. I mean like a real thump thump. Okay. Okay, you're probably there. Real, 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 you got him. Oh! Big fish! Oh, that's a stud! Keep him coming. Oh God, don't let me go over the boat. That's gonna be a big fish. Just, just hold your rod out there. That's gonna be a stud! What do you got here? Oh, come on, baby! Oh, nice amberjack. Woo now listen. Um, look at that. Oh, score. Don't lose him. Yeah, baby. We were just talking about. I've never caught an amberjack before either. 
Awesome. That's on my bucket list. Thank you so much. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Now flip your bail. Now start reeling. Reel. No, he's off of it. Okay, you let it go back. Reel, reel. Reel, reel, reel. He ate it right out of my hand. I was just checking to see what you had. And he... <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on. Let me just help you out there. He... Oh. This is a real one here, girl. Get him! Oh. <laughs> this is high contact fishing here. <laughs> Get that fish. Oh, this is gonna be a nice one. Look at that. We are gonna have some awesome dinner tonight, y'all. Look at that. You're worn out, aren't you? Yeah, I am. <laughs> hey, look. All I can tell you is, I loved your excitement and enthusiasm. I know you want the excitement. And, and genuine love of fishing. That's why I wanted to bring you out here in the first place. Real, 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 you got him there. Yeah! Come on, baby. Come on, what do you got? Come on, baby. I tell you what, man. This is what dreams are made of. Here's the one. Just sitting out here fishing and having a great time. Now what, Jake? <laughs> we are going to have one heck of a cookout tonight. Hold on. Oh, right there. Drop your rod tip. Look what you got, girl. Mutton snapper. Yeah, Dinner for the table. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Let's yeah. measure. Yeah, woo woo. Hey. <laughs> Finally got her done. What your name is? The fish slayer. Woo woo. There you go. Come on, baby. You ain't messing around, are you? Come on, baby. Oh, big one. Come on, a couple more cranks. Whoa, right there. Hold your rod tip down. Hold your rod tip down over there. Talk to me, Goose. Oh, there we go. What's your name is? Talk to me, Goose. Give me a... <laughs> Look at that, y'all. That's what we call dinner. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, Donna. Yeah. You want to take some of this fish home with you? Yeah, I sure do. <laughs> Gonna have dinner tonight. Seafood, no turf. Did you feel like he got bumped there? Yeah. Okay, turn it over and start reeling. You're gonna have to come a long way because it's a long leader. He's gonna oh, be yeah. there. Good deal. That's gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a really nice one here. I went to even even longer leader, and a lot of times you get bigger fish with the longer leader. Oh, come on, stay with me. You are doing such a good job. Come on, baby. Let me get that leader. Ooh. Hey, feels like a nice fish. What we got, what we got? Yes, sir. Ooh. Hey. We're you killing him now. We are having mutton snapper for dinner tonight, y'all. Maybe even breakfast, too. Fish and grits. You know it. Happiness, y'all, is an 18-incher. What a beautiful fish. So today, when you were driving to work, did it ever occur to you that you'd be offshore fishing? 
Abs T today. Absolutely not. No? Absolutely not. <laughs> I walked in and I was very depressed because of the weather and how cold it was. And I thought it was going to be an uh, inspection with my boss's boss. But no, luckily I got to wait on you <laughs> and Austin. And uh, whoop, whoop, you guys brought me out on this beautiful day to go fishing. And I'm having a great time. And I'm catching lots of fish. And I'm going to feed all my friends. <laughs> so blessing. I'm super excited. And this is this has just been a wonderful, wonderful day. And absolutely, completely unexpected. <laughs> That's so awesome. So she just reeled up a bait. Had a, a nice keeper, Cobia, swim right up to the boat. Would not eat the live bait, but hey. Come on, Robert! I'm gonna hand you this rod. I've gotta get him up. Hold your rod tip to the right. See the oh, fish? Are you kidding me? Dude! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Oh my god! Amazing! Amazing! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> my heart's going 100 miles an hour. Oh, that was so great! You can't buy this, folks. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> oh, my God. If you could bottle this, you'd be a bazillionaire. <laughs> See what you... You've Look. done to me. Whoa! You, you can't <laughs> buy this, folks. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick my fork up to eat the rest of the stuff we did catch for dinner tonight. Woo! <laughs> oh, great times, great times. Woo -woo! Woo -woo! All right, so we just made it back to the house. This is Jake, this is Donna's son. This is Maggie, which is Ed's wife, and that's Ed. So first off, I wanna say thank you so much for working and helping make this possible. Donna, what a wonderful day. Thank you. You guys, we're just getting started. And I wanna show you, you know, everyone thinks of fish as fish, but let's see the difference between that beautiful mutton snapper and that lesser amberjack. That's a huge lesser, by the way. Let's just whack the side of this thing off real quick. Come down, oh, check it out. I've got a silver stag filet knife back in my hand, which is a really good thing. It's so sharp, it's just nuts. Mm. The meat on these fish is extremely good. Go right down over that backbone. Just like that. There, now, look at that piece of fish. Real quick, you look at it. Um, there's a few worms in the back, so we'll, we'll just cut them off. But the color of the meat looks really good. Almost the same colors of Mai Mai. Cut this. Look at that. Now, if you can see, it's got uh, kind of a predominant bloodline there, but that's easy to cut out. All we're gonna do is you follow the center line where the, where the bloodline is, right there, and you just roll your knife out that way. This side, same thing. Uh, and just like that. Now this is just bloodline and bones. You don't want that. Now you can see there's still a little bit of blood right there, okay? In that case, come over here to the edge and gently just cut this off at a 45 right there, just like that. 
Ooh, missed a little bit here. That's good. And we'll do the same thing on this side. This is a lot easier to work with. This piece, this top one. Now, look how beautiful that fish is. Good looking fish. Now, now let's look at the mutton snapper. Come right in there, same thing. Neither one of these fish were bled out, but they were both soaked in a saltwater ice brine, which really drops their, their temperature fast and makes the meat much more nice and firm. Cut that there. Look at that, beautiful. Now, that's even, that's even prettier. Oh my goodness. Let's cut this. Now there's a little bit of a bloodline, but in all honesty, you don't have to worry about that. Just the only thing I really focus on are the pin bones because you know, I've got guests over, Donna and all the people from IHOP. Last thing I want them doing is choking on a bone. Now, let's check out the difference. Here we go, come right over here. Now, that's your mutton snapper. This is your lesser amberjack. Both of them are absolutely beautiful. Let's go inside and see which one tastes better. And it is now time to cook. But before I cook, I wanna show you this. Look how Emma, love you. How <laughs> you like that, Arya? I love you. <laughs> the tale of two stories. They're sitting here watching a little TV, enjoying the fire, hanging out, and we're gonna cook. Um, this is something that I like to cook a lot for my family. We've got friends over, and so I'm just gonna make food that that our family likes. This is peppered bacon. Throw that right on there. Now, we're just gonna spread this out all over here. As it cooks, it'll start coming apart. Next, we're gonna take onions. Throw them on there. Now, we've got some quartered up Yukon gold potatoes. Let them rascals go. And last but not least, these are white mushrooms. Then to flavor it up, you've already got the pepper on that peppered bacon. Then you're gonna use some Everglades Original. Just like that. And what we're making here, y'all, is what I commonly refer to as a love potion. There's a lot of love going on on that griddle right now. All right, so all of our mushrooms and goodies are cooking out there. We're gonna take a couple of these loins, like that's part of that lesser amberjack. And uh, I say we'll just cut it like that, and then we'll thin it out right down the center just like that, perfect. Nice pieces of goodness. And then if you don't wanna cut it that way, you can cut it this way. And um, it's a little bit easier on you, especially if you don't have a really sharp knife. So that's that. I don't wanna cut too much because I want you to take a bunch home with you. I do too. <laughs> Do you? So, that's all the amberjack. Now let's cut some loins out of our snapper. Cut that. Cut that. Cut that, we'll do three loins out of the snapper. 
So all of that you can take home. You like that? <laughs> can I get excited? That is so cool. Your, your excitement and enthusiasm while we were fishing today just made my day. Well, <laughs> you're gonna see excitement when I uh, eat, my, eat the fish that we caught today. Check this out. So the fish is all good to go. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is called Meyer Lemon. Um, for those of you who know it, it's, it's got a little sweet, it's got a little sour, it's got a very nice citrusy flavor. Um, it's not super tart like a lemon, but it's not sweet like an orange. It's just happy. Um, and I think it goes good with what I'm doing right now. Then take some salt, a little pepper, And uh, for right now, that's it. Alrighty, y'all. Look how look, look how nice that is. Okay, so now we're gonna take a little bit of oil, just a little bit of oil. Throw that right in there. Then we're gonna take a nice fat dollop of butter about that much. Make sure your griddle's not on too high either. Just like that. That's what you're looking for. Then you just take your fish, lay it right in there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's a bundle of love right there. That's one griddle. We've got mushrooms and onions with potatoes and bacon. We've got green beans and asparagus. We've got amberjack. we got mutton snapper. All cooking at the same time. And now, here we go. Last thing, when everything is getting close to done, come in here with a big old fat handful of cheese. Some of you may be saying to yourself right now, I don't know if that's healthy. And neither do I, but I guarantee you it's gonna taste good. What you think, bro? I think this looks better than the food that I serve at my restaurant. Oh, come <laughs> on, come on. Aria, do you like to eat fish? Yeah. What's your name? I'm You know what's cool about this? That fish was swimming earlier today, and Donna caught it. Well, y'all, listen, first and foremost, I just want to say how much of a blessing it is to have each of y'all at our house tonight. Donna, it was a really amazing to spend the day on the boat with you. And uh, every single day when we do dinner like this, we always say the blessing, because if you're not thankful, you're nothing. So I'm gonna say the blessing. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this wonderful food. Thank you for a safe and prosperous day out on the boat. Thank you for each and every one of our friends here today. And please be with us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, appreciate you guys being a part of this. Miss Donna, you've got a piece of your jack. You've got a piece of your mutton snapper. Everyone dig in, but I really want to I really want to find out which you like the most. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> So, from start to finish, what was your favorite moment of the entire day? My favorite moment was that grouper coming up again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was a grouper. You didn't see it. I saw it, son. <laughs> <laughs> it and it just was like, no, 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 no. A hundred percent, no questions asked. My favorite part of the whole day was watching the gears in your head go, I'm actually going fishing right now. <laughs> and then thank you so much. She put together a bunch of clothes for thank you. Thank you, Maggie. This is just what friends and family are all about. Uh, the biggest compliment I can give to you he opened that IHOP in Jupiter 26 years ago. 26 years ago. Every, all y'all have been there for over 20 years. 
every restaurant here, every restaurant has tons of turnover. They've all been there 20 years, 20, 25 years. I stay, that says a ton. Let me put my ton. fork down for this. I stay solid at my job on account of being under his uh, leadership. He is a wonderful boss. Um, it's a great location. We, we got great customers. And that's how I met you, yep. as being a customer at IHOP. That's the only way I know you. That's I, I'm not a big YouTuber. You, she I'm asked not, me today on the I'm boat. Like, she asked me today on the boat, oh, do you know Margie and Margie and do you know so-and-so? And I'm like, I don't even know y'all's names. <laughs> like, I only knew Ed's name when he, I gave him my cell and he texted me, hey, this is Ed from IHOP. In all honesty, I knew your name was Donna, but I didn't know any of the other ladies' names. I just know you as people who make me feel welcome and my family feel welcome when we come in. And the food is always good. That's it. Well, you definitely uh, spun that over and made us feel very welcome here as well. well and I, I just can't tell you how grateful I am. Well, I'm so grateful for my day. Oh, I'm so give me a hug. For my day. Come here. This is as real as it gets. This is as good as it gets. But that's all I got for you today. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.